All right, uh, this session I'm going to show you how to mount the um, camera mount and ch to the uh, crack capture and also set up the GoPro with the transmitters. Uh, before we go further, you need to have um, a few items, a flashlight, um, some uh, zip tie, and then you need a ne needle nose plier, that's very important. And also a uh, scissor and the uh, 3M double-sided tape. You can get them at uh, Home Depot or Walmart. Uh, it's just a 3M double-sided tape that holds, uh, it says holds about 3 to 5 pounds. So now let's get started. So before we go further, um, you can set the camera mount um, there first. Uh, one way to do it is just, uh, of course, put the double-sided tape on the bottom, and then you can just uh, mount it right on the bottom on this one right here. Um, if you want it to be more secure, um, you can also take out the front end of the screw. So um, you don't have to take out all the way. So take out, uh, uh, loosen the front end of the screw so you have a little gaps between the, the screw and the uh, body. And you can just, now um, the camera mount, this side is the, is the uh, bottom where you mount the, uh, the GoPro like this. And then the other side, this is the, the square one right here, is where you mount on the bottom of the quad copters. So when, once you're losing the screw, you want to mount the camera mount, slide right in there as, as tight as possible against the, 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 the screws. Now, when you're looking at the front of this uh, um, quad copters, your, your servo should be on this side. This is your front end, and this is your where your camera is. So your servo should be on this side of the portion of the uh, crack hoppers. Otherwise, it would reverse. Um, because we don't have a threaded for the GoPro, so basically you don't need, even need this uh, quarter twenty um, uh, uh, screws. So you mount it right here. So let, let's do the mounting first. Now I, I tucked in. I push it in all the way to the very far end that I have no more room to go with. And then I'm, I'm going to tighten up the screw. So you tighten up a little by a, uh, a little on this side until you have no more, no more room to tighten it. So now you can see it, it actually holds the camera mount real nice, nicely snuggle fits onto it. I didn't have the, uh, the double sided tape uh, right underneath between the, the mount. You, you could if you want to be, double, uh, to be safe, you can mount this tape on it first before you press it in all the way. So that's how you mount the camera mount. Now for the uh, wire. So open up the, the end of this. It's very hard to, uh, to see and, and um, to use your hand to press, press the uh, plug into the receivers. So right now we're going to use the, the flashlight. I, I'm going to show you what's inside, inside this. If you look inside, uh, you should see there's a receiver on the, on the right side of this. And there are two uh, uh, jumper you can able to plug in the wires and you don't want to you don't want to do the last one you want to do the second to the last one so right next to the um, let me point this out so you really want to um, if you look at this inside you want to go against this wire right here that's why you plug in the uh, your, your your connectors so the connector is plugged into the is if you look at the side of this Inside, you can see it's, it's called AUX2, which is the second to the last one. So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plug in my wire, my connectors right here, into that, that little uh, socket. Now make sure that white, the, the white portion is, is aligned, aligned with the rest of the white uh, connectors, the, wire, the white wires on, on, on the left side. And then the, the black wire should be on the right side. So I'm going to do this. It takes about maybe a few seconds. So you use a needle nose higher. You want to grip the heads of these wire. And now you want to go in side and then use uh, the second. So we go against the other knobs. 
and then just push it in. That's it. It it takes a little practice, but it's, it's not that hard. It's uh, pretty simple. So now it it go uh, it goes. So you have the the most bottom one on the receiver. This is the receiver. So the most bottom one of the receiver is still open. It's that um, BATT. That's the battery uh, output. So that's all open. And then the next one is where you plug in your uh, um, camera mount, which is called the AUX2. So you want it to be over there. So now that's that's how you connect it. Um, to close it, make sure that you you have this wire go in between this little uh, opening where your your hoods, where your camera coat cover is. There's a little opening on the on the between the little edge. So now this is where you come out from the wire coming out. Um, so it takes about maybe a minute or two minutes to mount the camera mount to the quad copiers. And for the GoPro, cut uh, a, a little portion of the strip of the uh, double-sided tape. So you can just measure how, how, how wide your, your GoPro camera is. I usually mount the, uh, yeah. make sure you cut it nicely on one end. and just line them up like this and then cut out the other portion of the uh, tapes and don't worry it, it, this is not gonna fall out it's, it's so so sticky that you can hold the GoPro forever onto the mount even if you crash it, it the, the GoPro will still sit in your camera mount so now you want to line up the GoPro lens right in between these two feet. That's very important that you line them up right. Um, well, do your best, I guess, uh, to line them up. So looking at this, that's your lens coming out. So at about this point is where your center is between the two feet. So you want to put the, t and then this go flush against the, uh, the rail. So now you have the full, mounting brackets of the GoPro. Now you notice that the GoPro is, sits, is not doesn't sit right in the middle of this camera mount. It, it's actually to the uh, to the left side portion because the, the lens is right in the middle. So now this is how you mount the GoPro onto the camera mount. Um, one more thing we need to mount is the uh, transmitter and the cable. So the cable one end go to the uh, the little jumper right here. So that's you notice there's two little edge. So make sure that it go into the the, the little um, holes right there. And then the other portion goes into the GoPro. So this is where you make sure you put in the memory card first before you put in the cable. So this go into the USB portion of the GoPro. And now you can mount this uh, wires mount this uh, transmitters. For me, I, I normally mount them right here. Um, you could mount them any, in any way you want. Uh, you can mount them right on the bottoms if you wanted to, uh, just double-sided tape. Um, you don't want to mount it this way because you have to open up the uh, the, the low um, battery holders. So you want to mount it on the side, sideway like this, with double-sided tape, or you can mount them on the top portions. Now make sure that uh, when you're mounting on this, make sure that your power wires is 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 there, so you can able to plug into the power. So let's do that too. Let's let's cut a portion of the tape, and let's mount this on the bottom. So now I'm gonna mount the double sided here. That's where I mount the transmitter. And then I uh, connect the power to the transmitter. Let's do this guy. So this red connector is coming out from the quad copiers. This will power your transmitter for the transmitter of the GoPro. So that's how you mount it. And then the remaining portion of this uh, wire, you can just uh, make, it, make it nicely and then you can just use a, 
uh, one of those uh, straps you can strap them on the side of this uh, camera mount um, that's how you do the mounting uh, let's, let's do a little connections strap onto it So if you notice, I'm going to drop this onto the top portion of the uh, of the camera mount, not the bottom portion, because this is where you swing back and forth. So now I'm going to drop this head and put a little um, zip tie. I'm doing pretty quick, so uh, I'm not really organizing it, but um, you can make it nicer, um, tux, tux in nicer, uh, so it looks better. Or you can actually mount your own way, to if you find an easier way or, or a better looking mounting way. But this is how I do it for mine. So I just strap everything like this on the side of the, of this uh, camera mount. So, and then the remaining portion of the zip tie, you just cut this out. Be careful not to cut your wires. So that's how you mount completely system from the uh, GoPro transmitter and also GoPro camera mount. Um, now we are ready to set up the uh, the control on your on your controller. There's uh, one thing you need to change on the controller. So let's get the battery power up the uh, quad copter to set up the, uh, the the program on the radio. So again, um, turn this. Again, now uh, you want to have all the switches uh, ready. Make sure away from it. Uh, at zero, at zero, and this is all the way to the bottom. Turn this on and plug in the quad captures. And if you notice, uh, you don't have to worry about any other switches besides those these three uh, uh, functions, which is this uh, FMOD and then the mix and also the throttle. Just like when you do the initial binding, uh, that's how you set it up too. So after you do the binding, uh, it is right now has nothing on the screen. You want it to uh, do program of the control uh, the uh, camera mount. So you press enter right here. Once you press the enter, you can see. Um, let's go back out. Okay. Once you press enter, you will see the screen will see function, um, models, and system. So right now you want to go down. So you have a down button right here to the model. Press enter and go down again until you see device output. So once you see device output, you press enter and then you have three selections. You have gear, pitch, and auxiliary. So now this arrow you need to use on this left corner of the button uh, up and down. You want to go down to select only one selection. Uh, you see the uh, auxiliary tool on this side and then auxiliary tool with the knobs. And it says gyro. You want to change gyro to active. So right now to change it to active, you want to use this to select active. So once you put active, you press enter, and then you press exit. So now the control, able to control your knobs. So when you move the knobs, you can see the camera mount is moving now. That's how you set up the controller for active. To set up your video, um, right now your, your, your transmitter is already on because I didn't turn on my cameras. So let's see if I have battery for this camera. Oh, I'm out of batteries. Oh, I might have a little batteries. So this is transmitting. The light is on. 
So it's transmitting to the screen. Right now, I, I don't have it set up on the screen yet. So in order to set up on the screen, uh, there are two ways to do it. You can, you can change the dip switch settings, and then uh, that will change the dip switch. So you can, you can use a little uh, plier. So you want to move the uh, first, let's see. You want to move the first two knobs. There are three, uh, three uh, dip switch. So you want to put the two knob, the first two uh, to be at the lower side, and then the, the last one should be at the higher side. So now this is the channel that we are in. So now you can see, you can see everything in real time from the camera switch. So that's how you set up the camera transmissions on your screen and how you set up the uh, camera mount from the uh, quadcopters.